everybody and welcome to Square Work Media. I'm your host, Square, and this is Square Work Media's world. And the filthy animal, it's dawned on me. Iceman, I don't think you did it, but obviously Filthy did it because he sent me a thing in the mail. We just checked our outside mailbox after coming in. It was sent by uh, UPS, and I didn't really tear that package up. I kept it pretty much how it is with the tracking number and everything. And all he did was put labels of ice. You know, it looks like they could have been printed out or whatever. But uh, I hope you used gloves, motherfucker. I hope you did. I hope you didn't. Because this is going to be turned in. Yeah. And uh, even if you didn't use gloves, you put your signature in there. The Filthy Animal logo. Like, ain't nobody but you would have went to the trouble to cut those little bitty, tiny, cute little logos. You really put your time and effort into this shit. It's sickening, really. Um. And then I got sent a book on how to build uh, better friends. That might be the one thing that is valuable out of everything uh, because it's written by somebody who's life skill teacher and has written numerous books and stuff. And, you know, so I, I'm going to read this book. Uh, I don't see any two blank, two en from blah, or two square from blah, so I'm going to assume that this one was just your one good deed of the holidays was sending me something that will actually help improve myself. Ooh, big, big whoop. You're still a criminal. You can't offset all the bad you've done by giving me one good book. So, that's all right. Hey, Stormy, what's up? Not much. I just got back from going on the last, uh, well, our last shopping trip for some stuff for family and other things and went to the store and we got a, we're going there tomorrow. I got to give, uh, I got to give uh, Brownie a bath and everything. And he ain't going to like that. Probably try to trim him up, make him look nice. Mop. <sighs> Literally, seriously, a mop. Well, whoever this group is, uh, Iceman, they sure the fuck hate you to uh, impersonate you. That's really low. I'm going to open, since I'm coming to the end of this one quarter, I'm going to open this next thing, which is called Red Light buy cookies it's just an eighth but uh i'm gonna be doing a testing and review video of it because i don't think i have done one of it yet and it's a uh, it's a high terpene it's got almost two percent terpenes and uh it's sitting at around exactly 28 percent so it's pretty on the high side Yeah, he will be. Golden Tibetan Kush, that's what's up. But I also got some stuff that I haven't opened yet. It's my last it's my last half ounce and it's a banana cream cake 
times jealousy. It's indica. It's got 3% terpenes and is sitting at 29%. That is some primo shit. That's basically about 30% THC. That's that's about the highest you can get a flower around here. And that's if they're not out of stock of it, you know, because everybody wants the strongest stuff. I mean, if you want it to use the, the less you can for medical benefit, because the only uh, da one of the downsides to um, using weed as a... Uh, as a medical aid is uh, the tolerance buildup and it's not just with weed that happens with all medicines but definitely happens with weed very easily because the THC gets stored in our fat cells and uh, the more mass one has or more fat cells one has the more their system can become used to THC uh, even skinny people like me that look skinny or lanky or whatever, preferably have a lot of fat cells more than we think we do. Like, but the difference is, um, skinnier people are, can, if they're drinking a lot of water and staying active, they can usually keep it like, in an equilibrium so to speak if they really work at it otherwise if you don't it's kind of up and down and so that's why i always recommend people taking tea breaks for a few days if not up, up to at, at most a week um the longest i've taken a tea break for has only been five days i'm not gonna lie like i wasn't able to get through a whole week um but it's something that i'm looking forward to trying to do here soon uh, is taking a complete seven day break. Uh, and I may even during that time, like, like when it gets halfway through, I may pan, uh, reward myself with a small J and then at the end reward myself. But, uh, if I can do that, that'll be such a reset because believe it or not, but when you're using weed every day, you get especially when you're used to using it every day like a lot of us are and i'm just going to speak for myself and be honest because i do use it every day and my doctor's aware of this she's got no problem with it she's a progressive type doctor but it can be negative in the sense as if i'm reaching to use it as like almost a kind of crutch um and I, I probably am guilty of that. Uh, I definitely, like, I'm rolling up right now because I'm going into a social situation. Like, social situations and groups of people, even virtual, on the internet, I, I don't do, especially when it's negative, like a lot of my streams and chats have been. I don't do well under pressure like that. Like, I mean, it's not that I can't handle pressure, but when it's targeted hate, like, it, it's kind of an overload because I can run a live stream, sure, with probably a lot of people. Uh, but the more people, the more nervous and uptight and careful and on, on the peak or edge, so to speak, I am, if that makes sense. Because I'm very aware of the world at large. That's why I have begged these other, I've wanted to call them channel creators, but as they keep their channels as they are, I do not feel that they res get the respect of being called a channel creator because their channel is focused on hate and um, trafficking misery or uh, grift, pimp grifting, or gri uh, tragedy pimping, or if not tragedy pimping, um, targeted, um, 
harassment, cyberbullying, grifting, you know, whatever you want to call it. Brownie. Brownie. He never did come in, did he? I don't know. But what do I say when it comes to the people that are the secrets now? Brownie. Is that how you know the product is working? Brownie. I put it on my money. Add up for a bit. I know you've been outside a little too long, Mister. You want to come on? You want to come on back here? Come on. And he's going to close the door up. Daddy's doing a live stream of Brownie. What do we not like and not support, Brownie? Criminals. And why do we not like or support them? Because they're a drain on our source and economy and our general moral and social fiber. Oh, that's why we don't like criminals. Okay, Brownie. Just double checking. Hey, Brownie. Yes, Daddy? Why don't we like organized crime, like gangs, the mob, stuff like that? Because organized crime has also been a big blunder on society and kept progress from advancing. Oh, I had no idea. So there you have it, people. Some uh, unusual knowledge from my dog. Oh, and I noticed people are making fun of my esoteric knowledge. They said that they got the binder. You don't have the binder. And that's and, and I know you're lying there because number one, there's only so many of them. Number two, if you've got the binder, then uh, send me an Instagram message explaining um, ex explaining what my uh, life path is. You ought to be able to figure it out what my reason for being is and explain it to me if you know so much. You don't know shit. Let me tell you that. You don't know shit about shit about shit. You guys have been falsely accusing me of being all types of stuff from an abuser to everything else. You know, if I wasn't as strong full as I was and didn't have a team right now, and let's say, oh, I didn't, and let's say I actually had a firearm right now, like I've had access to most of my life. Um, and I'm not saying this as a underhanded way of saying I'm going to do it in the future. So, I'm saying this right now. I'm just speaking in the hypothetical. So no one take this to mean anything than other than what it hypothetically stands on its face to mean. Do not call the police. If you do, you will be doing it falsely. But if I hadn't had the team that just got formed to help me with these issues in therapy... And my doctor hadn't been aware. And key things happened that I didn't delete right off the bat, the stream, but just made private and showed to the police and etc. I probably at this point, guys, would be I probably would be dead. Because I'm such a young person, and like, you know, my time on YouTube has been very, very short. 
but just long enough for these, some of these people that have watched and been around this area that I've been around long enough to target and uh, get to know some discernible actual facts enough to do some real damage. Like, what is the purpose of spending all that money on a, a chocolate dick? What is the purpose of spending, like, I'll tell you what, work yours, you get $500 in my cash app, I'll eat it on screen. A chocolate dick. They sent me a dick on a stick. Yeah, sorry about that, James. We will. We will, I promise. Y'all want to see me eat it? $500 to my cash app. Oh, no. I just got some more mail from a Army vet. More packages. More stuff that shows it's from Filthy. Pretending to be Iceman. That's got to be a, a against the law to uh, put down your ad, your the return address of somebody who's not sending it. If you're doing it for the purpose of deceiving someone, it's mail fraud. And he he's deceiving me by not letting me know who he is. By sending me stuff, especially after this individual has been harassing me. Filthy, you've committed a federal offense. You've, you've committed a federal offense. Uh, I'm going to take it that you're filthy then or was part of it and maybe the FBI will come in on you. Let's see if they think it's funny. Christmas gifts. Get a chocolate dick. It is illegal to use a fake name if you are using it for the intent to deceive someone. And he most certainly was using it to deceive me. Uh, yeah, I know what it says.
it's it's basically a context. He impersonated Iceman to come on now, guys. He was hoping that I'd get mad enough that I'd call Iceman's probation officer. Therefore, getting Iceman may be sent to jail, revoked, etc. So I don't think Iceman would be too happy about the fact that somebody used his name and address. Who That's identity theft in a way, too. You know, like, you guys keep saying, oh, this is all technically legal and we can skirt around it. But come on, man, it's fucked up. His name's not Walter. I know it's not. You wouldn't be saying it like that. Army, what happened? They sent more. They sent mail to my house, pretending to be Iceman, and and they sent all types of shit, fucked up shit. Picture of my dead friend, a picture, uh, a tombstone with my mom, a tombstone with the people I had a wreck with, all types of shit. I can't deal with this shit anymore. I'm a fucking nervous breakdown. I swear to God, I, I, I'm, I'm just so sh- fucking tired of this shit. Do I sound like I just got some Christmas gifts and I'm happy? No, I sound fucking agitated. And you dumb fucks just won't leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> 